let's touch base with the management of DB Corp. Uh, there's been much news uh, surrounding the company. Girish Agarwal, who's a non-executive director, joins in at this point. Uh, Mr. Agarwal, the first up, really, uh, you know, there are reports floating around regarding Z Group close uh, to buying out your company from Diligent Media Corporation. Could you give us some color or clarification on the same? Uh, first of all, DB Corp doesn't hold DNA at all. That's uh, holding by the promoters in their personal capacity. So, yes, promoters have uh, given the majority to Z, that's for sure. Okay, uh, so just correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, you have a minority stake in diligent media, and I believe you've gra gradually reduced your stake. Uh, how much do you hold right now, sure. and is there a plan to get it down we have completely? We are still evaluating it. We do hold a minority stake and going forward that's the promoter's call to own that. Okay. So on behalf of DB Corp, I won't be able to comment on that. Okay, great. So let's let's focus on what all uh, is DB Corp doing per se and how is business shaping up? How is it doing? Yeah. I mean, you know, we've been hearing various comments and, you know, it, they are polarized with some people saying that ad rates are doing fairly well and some people saying that there is a lot of... Uh, uh, lot of inventory that is piled up and needs to be liquidated in order to get in ad revenues afresh. How, how is the picture looking right now? Okay, see since the overall economy is down, GDP is down, so I don't think advertising industry in any segment is really doing too good. You know, for example, if you look at my nine months result, we have a total around almost 14% advertising growth over last year, which is, which is in very great because the third quarter was around 8-9%. So since the overall economic scenario is not too good, advertising is not looking good in the fourth quarter also. But going forward, I feel this year, since uh, there are a lot of clarity on the UP elections and all that now, so things should improve going forward. And regarding the inventory in newspaper, uh, please uh, understand that we don't have an inventory issue because no, newspaper sure. is not fixed in number of pages. No, no. You know, so I can always reduce the number of pages and uh, take out my inventory. Uh, that's, not, that's not a concern here. No, no, I was, I was clubbing the entire uh, media uh, industry as one. I mean, the TV channels talking about how inventory pileup is being seen. Okay, talking about yeah. just the newspapers in particular True. as well. Um, what happens to the revenue picture if indeed advertising is a bit soft? That is one. And two, if indeed revenues stay steady, would margins see a drop because of rising raw material prices and would thereby have an effect on the bottom line performance or that wouldn't be a worry? Let me correct you. The, the uh, cost on the newsprint is actually going down. Compared okay. to last year, we have already seen the newsprint softening down. The pulp price has gone down. So we are estimating that even if the revenue doesn't take a quantum jump next year, because cost is going to be softening, so there will be a certain improvement, certainly improvement on the overall bottom line. And, and you think that, could, uh, that probably holds true for the whole of FY13? I mean, is this a temporary phenomenon? Can you give us some color on how the picture was maybe uh, six months ago and how has it been a gradual move? Or is this a sporadic move which may again start reversing maybe a couple of months down the line? See, frankly speaking, newsprint, uh, what we have seen, the softening is actually happening from last almost six months. And the booking which, uh, which we do for the next six months forward is also on a softening, softened down rate. So we feel that the whole of 2012-13 should, uh, should not see any, any spike in the newsprint prices. In fact, should go down furthermore. That's what we are indicating. How much do you expect them to go down by? The our newsprint trial last year was around 32,000 rupees per ton, and we feel this should come down by almost 7 to 10 percent. Okay, uh, the other aspect is a couple of your um, editions uh, which are making losses. You have mentioned last time that the operating losses will continue in Jharkhand. By when do you hope to break even there? If you go by my Punjab experience and Gujarat experience, we generally do a break even, a bit of positive of a particular market in a period of three to four years' time. Punjab took slightly earlier, so we hope Jharkhand and Maharashtra, which we just launched last year, should be able to continue around that, because Jharkhand, we are just now almost one and a half year old, and Maharashtra is not even one year old. So we feel that in a period of three to four years' time, based on our earlier experience, we should be able to make them, these markets a bit of positive. Especially Maharashtra, the response has been very encouraging, and uh, we have launched four editions already in Aurangabad, Nasik, Jalgaon, Ahmednagar and Sholapur also five editions. Mm. And so far the response on the advertising side is pretty encouraging over there. Okay. 
the other bit that analysts uh, I would like to understand is uh, the promoters reducing their stake in the company to 75% from 86% in order sure. to comply with the listing norms. Run us through the current shareholding pattern sure. and more importantly, are, you, are there plans of reducing stake further? No, see, as per a uh, company doesn't need uh, uh, money, more money, because there is enough cash flow in the company. But uh, to comply with the SEBI guideline, we'll have to go down to 75%. So this 11.5% will reduce in next 12-14 uh, months' time. What are the kind of cash flows that the company has on its books right now? Uh, if you see, my last year EBITDA was around 400 crore, and the PAT was almost 232, I don't remember the exact number, around 230 something. And we hope this year, uh, uh, my nine months uh, results say that I have a bit of margin of around 26% overall. If I analyzed it, so company would have uh, almost a cash, uh, a bit, I'm showing the, the pat of uh, touching almost around 12, 200 crore rupees. And, and from what I gather, of, uh, I mean, how we started the interview as well, FY13 would probably prove to be a much better year. Even if revenues stay stagnant, there'll be imp improvement in EBIT and EBITDA. Sure and therefore consequently on the bottom line as well. Certainly, yes. And, I mean, we, we hope so, because uh, the, the investment what we made in the Maharashtra and Jharkhand mm -hmm. is now kind of taken care of. So, so the losses and the emerging additions, what we do, will accordingly come down. I'm guessing you do not have any fundraising requirement. So there will not be, not be any kind of equity dilution to raise money. No.